The report, first released in May 2018 by the World Bank economist Steve Pennings and New York University economics professor William Eastley, indicates that Museveni is one of the best leaders with a significant positive impact on their country's economic growth. In the last 32 years, since the advent of the NRM, the economy has always been growing at the rates of 6.3% and above per annum, except for the years 1986-87. The two experts define the best leaders as any leaders for whom estimated leader effect is positive and significant at 95% level and worst leaders are those with negative and insignificant leaders effects. The findings that were entitled, Shrinking Dictators, How Much Economic Growth Can We Attribute to National Leaders, ranked Senior General Tan Tsui of Burma as number one for being the most influential leader who steered his country's economic growth at 3.95% and shrinkage of just 0.71%. He was the head of the state of Burma between 1992 and 2011 as chairman of the State Peace and Development Council, SPDC. Senior Presidential Advisor on Economic Affairs, Stephen Miyingo, while commenting on the report, said that it is not surprising that Museveni has firmly put this country on a steady economic growth. He said the report provides a third-party independent opinion which confirms what the NRM government has been telling Ugandans. Easterly and Hennings ranked 24 world leaders and President Seveni came in the 12th position, scoring higher than many powerful leaders globally, including the former Prime Minister of Singapore, Lee Kuan Yew, and Park Chu Hee, former President of South Korea between 1963 and 1979. Museveni's contribution to Uganda's economic growth is said to be a record 2.42% with a shrinkage of only 0.78% since he came to power in 1986. While making its assessment on Museveni's contribution, the report highlighted the infrastructure development at its peak now with 5,350 kilometer total of paved roads compared to 987 kilometer of 1986. The general quality of lives and standard of living has improved tremendously together with an increase in incomes despite the increase in the population growth. Other sectors highlighted include the employment sector with the national employment rate reducing from 11% to 8%. Access to electricity grid has increased to 22% in 2017 from 14% in 2013. And access to water has also risen from 68% to 78% during the same period. Revenue collection per annum has also increased. For instance, in 2005-6, the total revenue collected was 2.23 trillion shillings compared to estimated 20 trillion shillings to be collected next financial year. The report also highlighted the robust peace and security under Museveni and has been credited for the prevailing economic growth, relative democracy, effective foreign policy, education, and tourism. UBC TV, Harriet Nambi. <laughs>